And here we are. I actually gave it three coats of Plasti Dip so that we got rid of any unsightly seams and it makes it really sort of comfortable and tactile to hold. I, I really do like it. it. Gives it a nice sort of finish as well. Uh, not bad actually, just for dipping it a couple of times in some Plasti Dip, it makes a huge world of difference. Covers up all the seams, makes it comfortable, makes it nice and grippy. Yeah, and I think that's looking smart. I took the pick tip to a polish of around, uh, just trying to think, uh, about 1500 grit. It, it's not a mirror polish. I didn't want to bother going that far with this, but it's a very nice profile on this. I think really the best thing we can do now is see if it picks some locks. So let's start easy with a Master Lock 3. So this should be a very simple test. Just trying to get a feel for the, um, the general feedback and strength of this. It feels really nice actually, uh, really good feedback. I, I put the shank down about that far in the pick. So you get some really good feedback where your fingers are. And that seems quite strong. It felt brittle when I was sort of taking the wiper blades apart, but it is quite strong for what it is. Very thick though. Can we get away with a smaller keyway? This Yale shutter lock here, very tiny little keyway. Um, we'll give it a go. See what we can do. So I don't know the quality of the steel. Uh, I imagine it's quite low grade. Oh, I've <laughs> just got the open. Uh, low grade stainless, but it seems to be holding up okay when we're picking a few locks. I'll see if I can use it to zip a lock open. So this is a, uh, a baton lock, but I reckon if we're lucky we can try and zip this open with a pick. Ah, we got it. So overall, I think this is a pretty good looking pick and it's very strong, very rigid. Um, I used a JB weld, which has uh, metal filings in it. So it's, it's really strong. The shank goes to about here as well. Uh, it's got a nice grippy finish on it. The pick is nicely finished. It works really well. The only thing it was struggling is uh, locks like this. BKS lock, which has a very tight keyway, and I can barely get the the pick in to <laughs> to get up through that warding at all. It's just a, the wrong thickness. That's where you'd need something around eighteen thousandths of an inch or so. This is quite chunky. So how thick is it? Well, this is in millimeters. Let's give this a go. Eight millimeters, which is thirty one thousandths of an inch, which is really thick, really thick. I mean, it's usable. Uh, and that thickness does offset probably the low quality of the steel a little bit and makes it a bit more durable even at this uh, thickness. I try to make it quite a slim shank, but yeah, I, I don't know how long this would last. It seemed very brittle metal, but it's a cool little conversation piece. And the fact that this was basically once a rear wiper blade with moss growing on it, yeah, I think we did well. So there you go. If you like this video, please do give us a like. It really helps me out. If you have any ideas about what else I could try to make a lock pick from, I think we've made a lock pick from a pet shop, a pharmacy, now my wife's car. If there's anything else in this series you want to see, then uh, please do drop me a comment below. I do read them all and reply to as many as I can. If you haven't subscribed and like seeing funny content like this, now's a good time to subscribe and I'll see you all next time.